Next up, we have the 3 to 1 Penguins episode called 12 Angry Hens. And the only Easter egg I could find is in the Rock Hopper. Kevin has the same cereal that was in the 3 to 1 Penguins episode, More is More. Next up, we have the 3 to 1 Penguins episode called Oh Mercy. And the first Easter egg I could find is in the first scene. Bonsai Master 3000! Bonsai is a reference to what Midgel says when the penguins and Jason and Michelle are about to fly in space. The only other Easter egg I could find is in the last scene. The video game that Michelle is playing is from the old BigIdeaFun.com website from the Jonah movie Moby Blaster. Next up we have the 3 to 1 Penguins episode called Promises Promises. The only easter egg I could find is in the first scene and it's the comic that Grandmom is reading shows pictures from previous episodes like Lazy Days Give and Let Give, Weeky Tiki, Invasion of the Body Swappers, and Get Along Little Doggies. Next up we have the 3 to 1 Penguins episode called Do Unto Brothers. And the only easter egg I could find is when the penguins are in jail, the comic that Midgel is reading is the same one that Grandma was reading in the last episode. Next up we have the final 3 to 1 Penguins episode called In the Big House. And the only easter egg I could find is in the attic scene with Cavitus. Next up, we have the first VeggieTales episode with the logo they had from 2008 until 2014, Abe and the Amazing Promise. And to get to the first Easter egg, you have to click your right arrow. Hi, this is John Waba, director of Blunders in Boogooville. Just wanted to show you a deleted scene. This scene happened right after the boobet crashed. The cage crashed as well. We deleted it because we felt it just a little repetitive. But uh, now you can watch it. I hope you like it. This is never gonna work. That's two hours and a box of rubber bands wasted. <laughs> The next easter egg is in bonus features, and to get to it, you have to click your left arrow. Hi, this is John Waba, director of Blunders in Boogooville. Wanted to show you a deleted scene. This scene uh, happens after Jacques leaves the Mad Scientist castle, and before he sings the uh, Humding Perui song. After watching it, I just felt that the scene adds a little bit of length and, and the show flew better without it, so that's why we cut it. Good morning, town! It's a great day to be an inventor! Delete! The pressure setting is too high! Sorry! Ah, the competitive edge. Well, good hurry. Hey, Jacques, where you been all night, man? Everybody else is way ahead of you! 
Oh, just getting a shortcut. There's another Easter egg in behind the scenes, and to get to this one, you have to click your right arrow. Hi everyone, it's Chris Wall, the producer of Abe and the Amazing Promise, and through the course of production, the director will help the animators to kind of understand how to act out certain scenes, little nuances he wants, funny little expressions, that kind of thing, and so John did a lot of those through the course of this production, and out of context, watching him is very funny, so we thought we'd put together a little montage of some of those, and we hope you enjoy. John Waba, teaching acting to animators. But when you're patient and take the time to do things right, great things can happen. Short start. Before showing you the final two Easter eggs in Bob and Larry's Playhouse, there's a little Easter egg in the animation by the Playhouse. Larry was wearing his exercise suit from Larry Boy and the Bad Apple there. If you can finish the Can You Remember game, you get to watch a bonus clip. Hi, this is John Waba, director of Blunders in Boo Booville. This scene is actually the original organ song, and you will notice that this version is a little more crazy. The mad scientist is more mad in it and kind of like I thought it was funny but after listening to it a couple of times I thought maybe it's a little over the top. Well I'll let you be the judge of that. Haste makes mistakes. Impatience can lead to disaster. That sounds familiar. It takes time to get it right. So be patient day and night. Eventually you'll see. By working patiently La 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 Something 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 about patience and waiting and Ah, uh, never mind I'll make you a deal To get to the actual hidden easter egg in Bob and Larry's playhouse You have to push your up arrow Hi there, this is John Waba, director of Abe and the Amazing Promise. What I'm about to show you here is an alternate cut for the er gag, and in this cut we have Bob involved in the joke as well. So I hope you like it. That was back when I was living the high life with my wife Sarah in the town of Er. Er? Er. Er. You are Er. We are Er. If you get all the hard questions right in video trivia, you get to watch a bonus clip. Blunders and Boo Booville starring the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders and Boo Booville starring the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders and Boo Booville. The Boo Boo Bird. The Boo Boo Bird. Boo 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 Bird. Oh, Blunders and Boo Booville with Boo Boo Bird. Blunders and Boo Booville with the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders and Boo Booville with the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders and Boo Booville. Blunders and Boo Booville. Blunders in Boo Booville. Man, I can't even say that. See, that's a really hard one to say. Blunders in Boo Booville. I can say it as Larry. Blunders in Boo Booville starring the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders in Boo Booville starring the Boo Boo Bird. Eh? Eh? Blunders in Boo Booville with the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders in Boo Booville with the Boo Boo Bird. Blunders in Boo Booville with the Boo Boo Bird. Birds. Blunders. Now we'll get on to the Easter eggs and the actual show. And the first one is when Bob and Junior go back in Bible times. Lot, or Jimmy, is eating Pizza Angel. 
which is from the silly song Pizza Angel from the VeggieTales episode Minnesota Cuke and the Search for Samson's Hairbrush. Next, in the Ur scene, you can see that in Lot's pool, there's a rubber ducky, which is a reference to King George and the ducky. Later, there are a couple more Easter eggs when Bob and Junior are interviewing Abraham. I started thinking up names for him. <laughs> Larry, Moe, Shemp. The first two names were, well, the first one, an obvious reference to Larry the Cucumber, and then the second one was a reference to Moe from the VeggieTales episode. Moe and the Big Exit. The next Easter egg is in the silly song, Sneeze If You Need To. And in the doctor's office, you can see on the shelf, Samson's hairbrush from the VeggieTales episode, Minnesota Cuke and the Search for Samson's Hairbrush. Later in the song, there's another reference to King George and the Ducky. There's also a plunger, which is a reference to Lenny Boy! Later, there's a red bowling ball, which could be a reference to Art Bugatti, the famous bowler from Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. Later, you can see an accordion, which is the same one from the silly song Schoolhouse Polka from the VeggieTales episode, Sumo of the Opera. There's one final Easter egg in the show, and it's in the last scene of Blunders in Boo Boo Bill. Larry first wore the Gord's Gym outfit in Very Silly Songs, or a Very Silly Sing Along, among others like Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. 